Hello everyone, I'm Mem. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we're finally setting up 10 gigabit networking, kind of. So we have a bunch of devices here that I've uh, been sent and I've bought myself. We have an SFP Plus to Ethernet adapter, a 10 gig one. This is like 100 pound on Amazon uh, for this little guy. So more on this a uh, little bit later on. And then we got, of course, 10 gig networking cards. This one here, uh, Synology sent out to me uh, for their Synology server over there. So this is going to be going in the server, of course. And then as for the other device, we also have this dude, uh, another 10 gig networking card. This, of course, going into the PC. So we're kind of going to be achieving 10 gig networking, but not entirely. I've got a 10 gig port on this router. This is the Netgear XR700. And uh, luckily it has a 10 gig networking port, which is awesome. Uh, so my plan is to connect this router uh, via the 10 gig networking port and that adapter, of course, directly to my PC, you know, have a nice 10 gig link between my PC and the router. And then as for the Synology server, we only have one 10 gig networking port. So um, this is where it gets a little bit annoying because uh, I only have one 10 gig networking port on the router. I don't have two. And uh, ideally what I need is a 10 gig networking switch. And if I had one of those, what I could do is connect, you know, a 10 gig port from the router to the switch and then from the switch to all the devices, if you get what I mean. Uh, so that would be much better. But we don't have a 10 gig networking switch uh, for a few reasons. One, they're expensive. And two, uh, I'm pretty sure I need a server rack for one of them. And um, they're loud as hell from what I understand. Uh, I'm pretty sure Linus Tech Tips, liquid cooled, his um, <laughs> 10 gig networking switch from Netgear. And I think that was because it was just very loud. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of why I don't have one as if I would have one, it would be in my room. Okay, and the last thing I need is another loud and hot piece of tech. <laughs> like that would be very, very annoying. And where on earth would I put a 10 gig networking switch? Like it's a big device. Like you kind of need like a server rack for one of those. So to be honest, I wouldn't really fancy having one of those in my room anyway. Uh, if we do move out though, that would be much better than I could probably invest in one and you know Have like a little server room somewhere, but um, yeah at the moment uh, This is kind of what we're gonna be dealing with so luckily this Synology uh, DS 1618 plus the one right here it, it has four Ethernet ports at the back at the moment I only have two Ethernet wires uh, that I can connect you know the router to the server so my plan for today I guess is to achieve two gig networking between the Synology server and my router and 10 gig networking between the router and the PC. That's the plan today. So what I'm going to do is salvage the Ethernet cable that's running into this secondary PC here and uh, plug that Ethernet cable into the Synology disk station instead so that we have two Ethernet wires and you know a two gigabit network connection going from the Synology disk station to my router as that router supports like link aggregation which I'm pretty sure means we can combine two Ethernet ports as like you know one ethernet port i guess if you get what i mean so that's kind of the plan for today uh i think the first thing we should probably do is open up my pc install that 10 gig networking card and then yeah we'll be on our way to setting up 10 gig networking but not really <laughs> also i've been working on some new merch designs uh, I've, I've ordered a sample and hopefully it turns out good first time if it doesn't uh it'll be delayed by by another month uh, so new merch designs coming soon, but in the meantime, I do have loads and loads of other designs over on uh, my merch store So link in description to that in case you want to go buy yourself some sick tech block merchandise I'd really appreciate it too. Uh, so right we've shut the PC down Let's open it up and I think what I'm gonna have to do is take out one of the RTX cards Because uh, I'm I, I don't know if I'll be able to fit that 10 gig networking card if we have two RTX 2060s in the PC So I think one of them is gonna be taken out <laughs> Right, um, we're gonna get rid of this bottom RTX card because it's not really being used and uh, you can't really put these cards in SLI anyway. So, goodbye RTX 2060. Then we're keeping the top one, of course, as you know, we do need a graphics card. That is quite important. All right, so the 10 gig networking for the PC is, uh, is done. The upgrade's complete. Kind of also a downgrade because we kind of ditched one of the RTX 2060s, but uh, I mean, 
what I can do I guess is add it back because uh, we do have like one more PCIe port at the very bottom of the motherboard here so uh, we could probably get away with having both RTX 2060s and the networking card but I think one thing we might run into a problem with is um, the actual PCIe lanes for the motherboard and the CPU uh, yeah if I add both RTX 2060s and the networking card, I'm pretty sure that might uh, slow down the graphics cards because of like, you know, PCIe lane distribution on the motherboard and CPU. So I think this is going to be uh, more than fine for now. Right, so the PC is booting up, so that's uh, one out of three things done. Uh, let's hop on over to the router and uh, make sure we set up this little SFP Plus to Ethernet adapter and then we should have 10 gig networking between the router and the PC. Right, so uh, this is the networking section of my room. We have the Netgear XR700 router. It's insane. It has 10 gig networking, 60 gigahertz Wi-Fi, like all the bells and whistles you could possibly ask for pretty much. Uh, although I wish it had a few more 10 gig networking ports, that would be real nice, but it would also probably make the router uh, a whole lot more expensive. But at least we have one 10 gig networking port and that's it's good enough, I suppose. Uh, we also have uh, my modem here for my internet, and then we have security cameras and stuff, but that don't really matter. So, uh, as for the 10 gig networking upgrade, let's show you where you're gonna be plugging this guy in. Right, so taking a look behind the router here, you see we have a bunch of devices already plugged in. We have, oh, we actually do have one spare ethernet port. That is good. Uh, but uh, this thing here, this is what we're gonna be swapping out. So let's unplug this. Okay, that's, that's done. That's for my PC, I believe. There we go. So you kind of take it out like this. Now you may be like, why on earth have I bought a second one? Like clearly this is the same thing. Both say 10 gig tech and stuff. Like, you know, surely they're both 10 gigabit network adapters. Uh, this is where I was very wrong. <laughs> they are not both 10 gigabit network adapters at all. Uh, see, I bought this one here thinking that I'm buying a 10 gig networking adapter. Uh, hell, it said it's from a company called 10G Tech. But uh, after buying it and plugging it in and looking more closely at the actual tech specs, it's a one gigabit SFP plus network adapter, not a 10 gigabit one. Uh, so there's a reason why this one was like a tenth of the price. So the new one that I bought is significantly more expensive, but it does actually support 10 gigabit networking for the SFP plus port. Uh, so we're gonna plug this in and uh, pray that it, it actually does work. <laughs> plug it in. Okay, that's all good, I think. And take my ethernet port. Boom, network settings. Ooh, I just realized a big mistake. You see, I've never had a, a 10 gigabit networking card, so I forgot to plug in the ethernet cable into the 10 gig networking card. I plugged it into the regular one on the motherboard. Well, according to Windows, this has been detected. So that's good. Um, <laughs> oh, we are connected. Oh, no way, no way. Oh, snap. So apparently we're running at five gigabits. I don't know if that's because of that adapter or the SFP plus thing that we bought um but hell at least we're getting more than one gigabit uh so that's good now in the situation that we're in the most we could possibly achieve in terms of transfer speed is between two and four gigabits per second between my Synology NAS over there and my PC uh which I think it will be quite the improvement anyway so I'm going to go ahead and salvage this ethernet cable from this PC here and plug it into my Synology NAS instead I think I have to kind of uncable manage things a little bit, or maybe I can just kind of yank on the cable until I get more. <laughs> that is also an option, and it's uh, an option that is working very well. Right, now I've got enough cable length. I will sort this cable management out uh, later on, but for now, boom. Uh, so they're both plugged in. We have two Ethernet ports going into here. We have LAN 2 and LAN 3 flashing away now, as you can see, which I believe is port 1 and 2 on the router, as I think those are the ones that support link aggregation. Now, I don't know if I have to do some further, like, configuration on the server side or on the router side, but perhaps now we've got more than 1 gigabit per second. Also, we just hit 68,000 subscribers whilst making this video, so thank you all so much for subscribing, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, right, let's do a quick file transfer, shall we? Right, so let's copy this file here and paste it onto the NAS. Usually I see, okay, we're, I think we're still running at one gigabit. Uh, Cause yeah, this is usually the speeds I see, 111 megabytes per second. Now I'm looking to see that number increase. So I'm pretty sure those hard drives are capable of more than, you know, 100 megabytes per second. So that's test one, I guess. We're still running at one gigabit. By the way, I should probably mention, this is by no means a tutorial on 10 gig networking. I'm still very much learning about this. This is very new to me. 
Uh, so bear with me. I'm sure maybe in the future I'll do a tutorial once I'm more familiar with this whole networking side of things. Uh, so yeah, for now though, I'm just kind of learning as I go. <laughs> Neither my router nor this thing is loading. <laughs> Why? Now I am running a Cat7 15 meter Ethernet cable all the way from this PC to the router. So uh, the fact that it is a 15 meter Ethernet cable may limit our performance, but I think we might be okay because it is 15 meters long. Uh, so it's not too bad. Hey, you see that? 10 gigabits. All right, all we needed was a driver. We went from five to 10. Very, very nice to see. You see, luckily this router has like some really good features. Uh, so we got the whole 5 gigahertz network, we have the 2.4 and then all the offline devices, but what we need is a LAN. So, TechBlock NAS, okay. Dynamic link aggregation. All right, so this is what I think Netgear supports as well. Oh, oh why did I press refresh? <laughs> Whoops, um, if we go into settings, well, I think Netgear supported this exact same thing. Well, now let's see if these things match up. So advanced, Ethernet port aggregation, okay, LACP, IEEE, 802.3 AD. That's the one. 802.3 AD. Now as for the whole Ethernet port aggregation over on the router side, let's try to switch it back over to this one so that everything, you know, matches up. So that's still set to active, which is good. So we have this enabled as well as this is still applying settings. In theory, we should be good. Uh, all I'm gonna have to do is map a new network drive. Uh, so that will be number 25, so 10.0.0.25. Meanwhile, uh, I guess File Explorer is going to crash. Oh, let's see. Uh, all right, so bond one has been created. 10.0.0.25, that's good. Right, so it's been two days since I've recorded this whole video about 10 gig networking. And uh, unfortunately, I've not been able to get anything really working. Um, I've tried to do a bunch of different configurations with the router and the NAS. And for some reason, things just aren't working as expected. Over on the Synology disk station side of things, as you can see right here, the bond I've created for LAN 1 and 2. Now I've done all of this off camera, by the way. But uh, as you see there, network status, 2000 megabits per second, which is, you know, exactly what you'd expect from combining two Ethernet cables. And uh, over on the router side of things, we have LACP enabled. By the way, this is an LACP connection the exact same one as this like everything matches up perfectly and uh, you know as you see here it says active and unfortunately i'm just not able to get anything above one gigabit per second uh, so that is kind of annoying now one thing i did try to set up is this whole enable static lag and uh, i did the same over on the uh, you know synology side of things too but unfortunately that didn't work either uh, i was getting the exact same issue uh, that being, I can't get above one gigabit per second. Now, I think that the connection between the Synology NAS and the router is absolutely fine. Uh, where I think I'm running into an issue in is either with this 10 gig networking card, for some reason not really working as expected, even though when you go on the network file sharing center, you know, on Windows, it does say we're getting 10 gigs. Uh, so, I mean, it looks fine. So, I feel like there's two possibilities to why things aren't really working. One of them being the SFP Plus connector, the 10 gig one, the very expensive one that we bought, uh, that potentially, you know, not really working correctly, I guess, or the ethernet wire that we're using just for some reason cannot push more than one gigabit per second through. Now that may be due to its length. It's a 15 meter ethernet cable. So what I'm gonna probably try to do is buy a shorter one and uh, see if that can resolve our issue. Just so we can at least, you know, narrow down to what exactly is causing this problem? So I think that's where I'm going to end today's video. We're going to be doing a part two of this whole 10 gig networking thing, either in this apartment or we'll begin like a whole new thing over in the new apartment. But uh, I do want to set up, you know, two gig networking, 10 gig networking, just anything above one gigabit per second for, you know, the devices around here. Mainly a connection between, you know, my PC and my NAS. That's what I want to speed up here but um, haven't had much luck yet. So, so perhaps if any of you are like 10 gigabit experts and uh, you know what you're doing, try help me out in the comment section down below. Uh, I feel like I've tried all of the possible configurations, um, but nothing seems to be working out. So yeah, apart from that everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you in another video soon uh, where hopefully we know we, we set up 10 gig networking and get it actually working. But until then, thanks for watching, goodbye.